The Argus 60, like all other Argus, is really brilliant for baking. With taking only an hour or so to heat up from really cold, it's ready whenever you want it to be. To make some flapjacks, we use the hot plate to first melt some butter and some sugar and some syrup. And then we pour in some oats and here some pumpkin seeds and cranberries to give it some flavour. And we just melt that all together, spread it out on a full size baking tray, pop that into the oven. I'm using the top oven on baking oven setting and I've put the tray on the grid shelf on the floor of the oven. And here's our tray of flapjacks, all squishy and delicious and ready to enjoy. Now to use the top oven as a hotter oven for cooking bread and scones, all we simply do is turn up the dial to the roasting oven setting. Then it's ready to use to bake our delicious loaves of bread. Using the Arga to make bread is a really great way to make a wide range of delicious baking. Um, focaccia or baguette or um, croissants or pan au chalac or all sorts of baking are really, really well done in the Arga. The cast iron cooking gives it a really lovely um, oven spring which gives really beautiful rise to your bread. The Arga 60 is a really clever little cooker. Whilst it looks small from the outside, it's brilliant for cooking big batches of baking. I've got two trays of scones here, cooked one above the other. Um, simply switch the positions over to ensure they cook nice and evenly and they'll be crispy and fluffy within 10 or 15 minutes. The Arga 60 top oven on roasting oven setting is brilliant as we've seen for cooking breads and scones. And if we want to cook something cooler, like make a Victoria sponge cake, um, all we simply do is turn down the dial from roasting oven to baking oven setting. That'll take two or three hours for the oven to cool down to the baking setting. But there's a much quicker way. Simply take the cold plain shelf. It should be stored outside the oven so it's cold when it's ready to use. Simply slide it in the middle of the roasting oven setting and put your baking underneath. It creates a cooler space below and a hotter space above. So that cooler space below becomes a perfect baking oven for doing our sponge cake.